Hi, this is Tina Stevens. I'm going to go over some information with you about the Rich Order Board. Lots of questions coming in um, to the groups, to Zynga support, on how this all works. So hopefully I'll be able to mention something today that will help you be able to complete these boards each week. So the first thing you can see in the corners here, this is your little uh, shortcut or uh, map you can look at. It tells you how many days you have left. So this is a new week. I have six days to complete my rich order board. And the way that I complete it is by reaching 2,000 rich points. Now my number here shows 2,000. Not sure if everybody's the same. <laughs> I think it might be. So um, I'm going to show you how we're going to get those points. Also, when you complete the Rich Order Board within the time allotted for that week, which right now is six days, then you move along the map to each new point, and each new town, I should say. Um, so, so far I have completed the County 1, and I have unlocked the Rich Field. Then this last time I just um, unlocked the County 2. So my next town I'm working on now is the Bright Side Valley. As far as moving along these towns, there's nothing that you have to do um, to get to the next town. That happens automatically. You just need to complete the Rich Order Board. So now let's take a look at the uh, Rich Order Board for this week. Let's uh, look at the different things we can do to win these doubloons. Um, those are actually old Spanish coins. So um, over here you have first, second, and third place. This will all happen automatically depending on how fast you're moving through the board. Here are some bonus cards you can look through. You can click on these little arrows to get to each one. The nice thing too on this is that it will automatically uh, post for you if you reach any of these and you haven't been viewing them so uh, you automatically get the points for those. Here when you click on this little question mark you can check to see how many doubloons you can get in the gift boxes. Um, here's the uh, points. So these I believe everybody is able to do fine to complete the pattern. Um, you got to sell each one of these in order to get it to turn into this anchor. So each card turns in the anchor when you click on sell. We'll look at that too. Um, this here is a little bit more complicated. Uh, it depends on what order you sell each of these to be able to complete the three patterns at once. So if I run through and I go straight down and I sell, 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 when I get to this bottom one, it's going to ask me if I uh, want to go ahead and complete the order. And when I do, it's only going to count it as one. So you have to sell, sell, sell these three, sell, sell, sell here. Same thing here, you sell those. The very last one has to be this corner that connects them all. That's how you do the three orders at once. Same thing here. You cannot complete this one here, the connecting box. You cannot sell it to turn it into the anchor here until the end. So you got to do all the other ones around here. So there's been a lot of questions on that. Another thing we have here is a little way to see which orders you want to work on. Um, if you have some things already completed, maybe you planted extra crops, um, be careful with that because at the end of each board or each week after six days, according to this, um, you will, they're going to sell all your extra crops on here that would work for this board. So I try to get just what they ask. If it's at the beginning of the week, I might do a few extra, um, but you will be able to see for sure on this board here when you click on the little wheat signal. Let me put this, uh, I'll take that off again right here. So you clip, click on that symbol right there and it'll show you what you're going to need for each recipe so that you can determine, you know, do you maybe want to do three this direction? Maybe it's easier for you to complete these 
in this direction. Um, this gives you kind of an idea of what you have. So as you complete the rich order points, you're going to see uh, this yellow bar come across here to let you know where you are. Um, if you want to get to the map to see what town you're on, you click here. And then if you have farm bucks to use, then um, you do have an extra option here for the rich points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through and I'm going to complete a three pattern here. And then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and turn those in. Uh, for your rich order points down here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and just do the same as they have in the picture. Uh, once you get that down then maybe we'll be able to look at some other types there too. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and run through and show you how I can do some of these real quick like um, using your speed feed, super feed, of course, and super speed grill. So first of all, I just got into the game. I'm going to have to go ahead and feed these chickens. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. If you look under Farmville to Fun or Tina Stevens, you can find this video and, and several others that talk about if you have a problem here with the prized animal barn not uh, showing that the animals need to be fed there's a fix there um, it also works for the, the animal farm too so uh, you definitely want to check that out I do have a website fv2fun.com farmville2fun.com and you can find uh, lots of free prizes and gifts and things on there too so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in here and find the chickens so I can go ahead and get the eggs. I'm going to just show you a couple ways that I do this. Um, I just uh, run through and click on these. It's a lot easier for me to collect. It's faster than going through each chicken and waiting for them. <laughs> so I just use the ones here in the barn. Looks like I got seven so I'm going to click a couple more times here and I should have enough of the eggs. I want to show you real quick how that automatically lights up once we get it completed. I need to go one more time here. We had quite a few that are pricing out here. Okay, here we go. So what I wanted to show you is once you complete what you need, that was the first one in the corner there, that will automatically highlight here in this uh, little shortcut. So when you're feeding the animals, you can kind of keep an eye up here and make sure that, uh, you know, when you reach the amount that you needed. So to save on time, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, ones with the animals real quick, uh, and then I'll come back and show you a quick way to do the trees or the uh, different crops there. Okay, so I have gone ahead and uh, fed the animals that I need to to get the um, items for the here that we need to sell. Now you notice I'm not going to sell yet. So we're going to wait till we get all of our pattern together, and then we'll go ahead and get that part done. So the next thing I've done is I've set up all the trees that I need. Um, you probably have yours in the groves. Uh, this works with the if you go ahead and use the shears. So don't worry about that. Um, you can save on water and still get your trees. I just quickly set up all the trees that I needed right here just to show you guys here on the video. All I'm going to do is go ahead water, fertilize, and uh, speed grow these trees to get my fruit. So I'm just uh, still working here on the trees. Um, I want to make sure that I mentioned uh, I've seen some other people um, for the airplane they click on the trees that they need like so but you can just click and drag when you use the plane when you're fertilizing or watering so all the way through your fields just click and drag um, makes everything go quicker so I'm ready to go ahead and harvest my trees let's watch the uh, rich order board here so that we can see when we get enough of these I'm just going to uh, go ahead and harvest now, and we'll see how many more we'll need. Um, this is using quite a bit of super feed on the trees. Um, 
the only suggestion I have for that is um, if you can make it over to fv2fund.com I have some free super feed over there for you so give that a try so you can see quite a few more uh, check marks came up here so we're getting closer let me go ahead and get a few more trees for us and with the shortcut you can always just click on this and it'll bring everything up for you um, if the fair is over here then it'll keep bringing up the fair board you have to wait till that little shortcut goes away then this will work for the shortcut. I just have plums and lemons that I'm working on now so I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize those. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can get your crops to grow without having to use your speed grow. Um, use some other options and maybe that'll help you get your board completed faster too. Okay, so we've done a great job getting the trees done. That took just a few seconds to run through. Um, I did uh, pause the video for you because I'm trying to help save on the time. I know sometimes these videos can get running a little bit longer than we wish, but uh, trying to get everything done here real quick. We have, all we have left to complete this uh, three pattern here is the onions and the strawberries. So what I want to do is show you how you can um, use your visitors that will help like these two plots I know that I can use um, help from Nicole here to help me speed grow so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just put some onions here and I'm going to make sure that I water and fertilize first and then we'll have her go ahead and speed grow for us. So always uh, wait and see which uh, fields will highlight. That'll help you save on that. Um, the other thing too is that we can use our farm hands. So we have these ones down here that we can use to help us get the crops done faster also. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through and do those two things and get the crops for us. I'm just working on the strawberries here at the end. I want to show you the difference between using the upgraded fields. Um, these gray ones here are supposed to give us more of the rich crops. And uh, let's go ahead and do one of the regular fields and see how many we get. If you look down here, you can see we got five of the rich strawberries. And now let's go ahead and do a field that is supposed to give us more and see how many we get here. It looks like quite a few more there. And it came out seven, so that was two extra. That helps. Okay, as you can see here, I have completed the rich order board as far as the items that we need. And we're gonna go ahead and turn those in or sell them here real soon. Real quick, I wanted to show some friends have had the question on how to get to the upgrades. Um, there's this new box here. It has a little arrow. It's brown. Um, if you click on that, on the left you have your regular upgrades that you uh, that we've been using previously. And here are the new Riverside ones. So you would just go ahead and click on the Riverside if that's what you were looking to upgrade a field. And you'll see all the choices here. So I just wanted to get that in real quickly. Let's go ahead to our rich order board and see if we can wrap this up for you. Here is the patterns that we were trying to get. Now, this is the most important part. We are not going to sell this one till the end. We have to sell all the other items. They'll turn into an anchor picture. And then this will be the last one for us to go ahead and complete the three three part um, order here. So first we're going to sell and you see it turns into an anchor. We're just going to go along keeping in mind that we don't want to click on that last one. And you can also see the points are adding up down here on the bottom. So we are moving right along here. I'm going to be careful here. I'm just going to do this one. I'm not going to do this last one, the connecting one. Going back over here. 
We're still collecting quite a few points. Here's why I was talking about the bonus cards. Um, once you receive that or over here on the leaderboard, um, you automatically get the points. They keep track for us. That's great. So, getting close to the end here. Now you can see how we've almost completed all three, and it is all revolving around this one. So, what I'm going to do is click on Sell, and then it's going to ask me if I want to complete a pattern. This is where I'm going to say yes. Now, if I had made a mistake, and I was selling the items, and I got to one that I was going to complete a pattern but it didn't include all that I wanted to do I would just click on go back and then let me try it again so this time I'm going to click on sell everything looks good we have it the way we want I'm going to go ahead and do complete and here you will see they all turn over and I get the points and I get the prices so when you get three you get three prices so hopefully I have answered many questions that you may have had on that. Um, once you select your prizes, you put keep playing and you get a whole new board. So I'm a little over halfway there. I complete one more board, I should be able to move on to the next town. So uh, if you have any more questions, uh, try and let me know. I'm Tina Stevens. You can find me on Facebook. Um, you can also message me at fv2fun.com, and I will try and get some answers for you. Thank you for your time.